Episode 3, everybody. Welcome. Once I'm done with this uh, episode and the credits roll, I'm gonna go for a run. Previously on The Walking Dead. Here we go. Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good you didn't to make my it. family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Yep, that's what the that fuck? happened. Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Yeah. We found a camcorder in the woods at a small camp. <clears throat> I hope it's not Clementine's mother because she feels a little... This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is uh, tailored by how you play. She seemed a little bit kooky in the noggin, you know? I don't think it's her mother. Mother. Mom. Mother. Okay. So we got Lee and Kenny. The bro with the mustache. Episode three, long road ahead. Long road ahead? Looks like this is our lucky day. Oh, we're back. Oh, shit. Uh... Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Oh, you do? I've never seen this. I saw part of the first uh, episode, the first chapter of the first episode when PewDiePie was playing it, but then I didn't keep watching. So this is all brand new to me. Oh, man. Yeah, you Kenny got shot. Yet? About what? Pew to who? Comes to the getting the hell out Felix Shelburne. But you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. The most successful YouTuber. Uh. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. <laughs> Feel likes what? Uh. Swedish YouTuber. Okay. Many years like ago. Last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Kajelberg. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. PewDiePie. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. Spelt PewDiePie. No yeah, only solid gamer. <laughs> only Swedish YouTuber there ever was. Right. Let's see if it holds. Nope. Okay. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move. Crappity crap crap. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Concrete. I could push the the jeep, but it might be heavy. Huh. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Anything else? There's no safe way through that mess. Okay. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. 
<clears throat> Won't budge. I thought it went tire. It's completely flat. Yeah. Winch. Hmm. Looks like it still works. <clears throat> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. She seems strong. Alrighty then. Okay. Still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. All right. Night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. <laughs> Shit! Oh. Did anyone hear that? Are you okay? Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. No! No! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Oh, shit. Ah! Stop screaming, damn it. Oh, God! Oh, no! God. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Oh, God. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Oh. Oh, she's bit. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. She's but already done for. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. They bit her leg. Okay. Go now. There's no helping her now. Goodbye, she quietly says. Chapter one. Achievement. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Take. 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 Take, 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 take. Take. She's gone. There's not much time now. Take, 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 take. Take. Take, 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 faster. I think that's everything. Oh shit. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. 
We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Kenny, please. Please. Fridge. Okay. Out. Let's fucking get out. Run. Oh, crap. Shit, he's got a helmet. Everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Kenny hesitated. Wow. some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <sighs> huh. So, what did you get? A mm, lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. <laughs> nice work. This will keep us going. Thank if you. We carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with Walker. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to- They're just arguing. ...about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing 
our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Bad Blood, Chapter 2, Episode 3. Achievement. She'll get over it. She's right. Happy Kenny? Shubba. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. <coughs> for once! It's good to have a snus moment that comes in and forsees me. Things are coming to a head. Now I'm two in. It's good that I had a lead. It's good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Takar. Thanks. It's Thanks. probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. I'll buy in socks here. I'd like to talk. I'm sexy and I know it. Talk when you've got a minute. Uh. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Mm. Have you seen anything weird on watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Okay. 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 Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Talk to Carly. Ooh. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. 
What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Nice. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Ooh. Oh, okay. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. <laughs> People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Yes. Don't call me small. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Hmm. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? <sighs> I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed <clears throat> into the garbage. <clears throat> we don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery! Jesus, Doc. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. <laughs> That's Robin. I know who it is. <sighs> okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I kids do? Kids will be kids. I, I don't Always. know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> All right. Can't go there. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Huh? There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. <laughs> Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Just looking through all the things. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> Yo. High five. Cool. <laughs> Duck thinks you are incredibly awesome. Nice. Okay. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. <sighs> I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. 
Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? <sighs> I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. Gotta tell everybody. You always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Mm. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Huh. <sighs> You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can, uh, go on back to your things. Uh, Clementine understands. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I was sent to prison before the plague. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy, so what? I bet he was a dick. <laughs> Well, it, it ruined my life. I think everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? <sighs> Misery loves company.
Okay. I think I told everyone. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a headcount. Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Okay, that feels good. I'm gonna tell Lily about the chalk. And then I'm gonna go investigate. Find anything? So there's this chalk marking on the wall on the side of the motel and matching scuff on the other side leading out of the gate. Someone is working with those fuckers. I know it. Whoever it is went out to do something, but we come and go all the time. I don't want to create more paranoia. Go outside and look. You have to. Okay. Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. I know you won't. I'm worried, but what can we do? I don't know. I'll be back. Hmm. Let's go out and check. <clears throat> Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. <clears throat> huh? Oh, man. Son of a bitch. The medicine. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, got our people out there! Out it's lunch. We ain't All right. fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. <laughs> what? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> oh, crap. Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? 
this fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta, that's why. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Uh. <gasps> oh, God. No! Uh, shot him in the butt cheek. Oh, shit. Get back there! Smoke him out! Oh, we gotta no. get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit, for brains! He's back there! Ah. Uh. Get inside! Clementine! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Uh, oh, God. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Shit! Shit! Get inside the RV. It's going to be okay. Go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ. Lily, get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. Stop. Shit. Shit. Ah. Lily, last chance. Get down here. Shit. Jesus. Jesus, are you okay? I'm Hit fine. the road, I'm chapter fine. three. Shit. Oh, shit. Episode three. Achievement. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. If not now, when? Look at what just happened. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we Whoa, know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look. Maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? 
What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Everybody? Everybody dance now. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other option. There's no way it was Carly or somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that is good now? Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it going to be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah, this is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Tell her. Just do it, Ben. Wait, Jesus, well, who are you right Tell now? Her what? She'll kick me out of the group. We won't. We'll understand. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. He's... Let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like, you think he <clears throat> hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Okay. Now, what the fuck's the problem? What? Drop it. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken! Lee! You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. Murderer? Lee's killed before and I forgave him. That you was not an accident. I'll forgive you. Bullshit you, you will! You've been do planning it to get to me done. this entire time! I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. She was gonna be my sweetheart. Get what the it. hell, man? Let's go, you guys. Why'd you do that, Lily? Oh, I hate this. Lee? 
A word, please? Could I, could I have stopped that from happening? Ah. <sighs> oh. You okay? Katya needs you for something. We need to speak to you up here. I'm coming. I hate this. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? No. <laughs> what the fuck? No. And during the raid. He's gonna turn. We don't know that. Gotcha. What do we really know? None of us have been bitten. We don't know what the time frame is for a child. We know nothing. I'm going to monitor him and focus on the wound and see if his condition changes. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Ugh, I can't take this. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. This is so dark. my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> uh, that's nice. I didn't, though. <laughs> Thanks. Who was it? What? No. Get off of me. What the hell? We got something up ahead. Oh. Uh. 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 Damn it. Roads blocked. Uh. Uh, another achievement. What now? Chapter 4, Episode 3. Oh my god. Uh, that was just a daydream. Uh. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That not cross my mind. That's sarcasm, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's go, uh... Talk first.
Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Okay. Doors closed. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. There's a bottle right there. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. Anything else? A clipboard. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Okay, let's uh, check the other side. I can climb on top. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Looks like it'll get that pin out. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Shit. Broken. Gotta look for tools. Maybe check the other side? Let's go this way first. Oh. Nice prime engine. Tools. Hey. That'll crack a skull just fine. <laughs> a rusted shut, but nice and heavy. Nice. Okay. You know where the tools are. <clears throat> Empty. Nothing. Okay. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Okay, I gotta do this now. Do I have to? Yeah. Uh. 
he's dead all right wow someone already shot him i don't think this guy came back christ Uh, push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. Hey, messenger. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. Yes, I do. I really like the game. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Big thanks to Namo for gifting the game. In the ocean and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. <clears throat> okay, I, uh... Ooh. It's a bunch of papers. Zombie games are cool, yeah. Shit, this is it. Engine startup. Starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. Ah. Uh, I can kind of see the indentations from the. Ooh, right. yes. Uh, rotten lunch. Ugh. Uh. I need a, a, a piece of chalk. Let's go get it from Clementine. Mm -hmm. And give the water to Duck. Where did they go? They're not in here. Oh, pencil. Pencil. Let's grab it. Anything else? Nope. Are they over here? Yes. Here, found some water. Solid. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Like How you doing? Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I found I some water for Duck. But you're probably right. Oh, from surgery. Koch is thankful. How's Duck? How's Duck? Why surgery? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. Okay. The body's probably fine. Are you feeling better? It. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. Oh, yeah. The no. little, um, bone that part. That girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, 
Let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring is out the Is that why you had the surgery? To get it you? fixed? Same thing. Sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. We found a notebook that we think nice. might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. I hope it's better now. Well, I'm sure you guys... Breathing is important. Oh, all right. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? I already found a pencil. No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something clem, clem. on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. I'm just going to use the pencil first, and... Then I'll give it to... Clem Clem. <laughs> It feels like playing a movie. You get to make choices and walk around in between the bits. Here we go. Clementine learned Perfect. this and she Can taught me. Now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a photo of that. So I have it on my phone. There we go. Haha. Uh, talk to Kenny. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Yeah, gotta fix the brakes. Found some tools also. Minecraft story mode. Yeah, that's right. Uh, tools was in the second one. <laughs> Mental screenshot, yeah. But I'm not very good at those. Not when it comes to uh, instructions with several steps. Maybe that works. I will bring that. Can I take all of them? Shit, I can't. Okay. I think I want to try with this one. I bet that's the right tool. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. I'll take a look. Steam. I want to check this side. Sheet metal. That's one hell of a mess. Okay, maybe I can't can't do that from that side. The walk. Uh, hop down. Back to where the brakes are. Here. Let me try that. Uh, it's stuck. I okay. Can definitely pry this thing free. If I can break it loose first. Ah. <laughs> Misclick. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Yeah. Wrong tool. Yeah, big train wreck. Uh, let's go out here. The Walking Dead came out in back in 2012. Maybe I'll ha have to change to this one. It's sturdy. <clears throat> Yeah. For an 11 year old game, it's kind of awesome. 
still holds up. I mean, any game that's a great game is a great game, no matter when it came out, right? <laughs> uh, it's stuck. What? I need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. How am I going to do it then? Third tools of the charm. I don't see any other way. I'm going to try first. Then I have another idea. If this doesn't work, I think we might have to um, get the train started. And kind of hit the gas once. And maybe it will shake loose or something. Yeah. You see, the icon is still red. We yeah. need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry rust. anything free. It's rusted shut. That's why. Okay. <sighs> I'll check my picture. There it is. Let's go back and fire this uh, train up. Or the locomotive. And that's behind door number one. Let's see here. All right. Uh, switch. Prime engine. Maybe back. Doesn't look like the engine has any power. Doesn't look like the engine has any power. Where do we get power? Okay. Six, five, nine, nine. We need to find some other place. Probably in the front. Let's not start with the last steps, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got a gifted sub. Snake? What's going on? Snake? Snake! Here we go. All right. Let's check it. Number six. Here. Uh, down, down. Up. Up. Uh... Up, down, up. Ooh. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Hell yeah. Number five. Um, this should turn. Now we're talking. Turn green. Now we go back out. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Engineering nightmare. Flipping all the switches. Thank God for instruction manuals. Especially when it doesn't turn on, yeah. Okay, let's go uh, first counterclockwise. And clockwise. Holy shit! We're golden! We're golden! <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> there we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Feels good. Let's try and pull that rust off the all yours. coupling. 
Okay. It's all me. There we go. Damn it. Ooh. Of course. We're still attached. There we go. You go find out where we're stuck. It moves. Unstuck. Yeah. Of course. I'll bring the bigger tool for this job. Or one or two or three this way. Got the tools. Let's bring this big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> My idea is to get as far away from the populated area as possible in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I think we're going to the the shore. Probably get on Ken's boat. Here we go. Please work. Yes. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. I should go get the others. I get a sword so I don't stuff. run out of bullets. Yeah. Like Michonne. Shit. Uh. Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. Oh, sorry. I guess it's no worse for wear. I didn't answer That's his question. Stuff. Sorry. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. Zombie bears and infected mosquito in swarms. Cab. And thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Candy from an old stranger? <laughs> yum yum. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, time like two. TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. Yeah, I only played the I first one. Y'all, whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. I just noticed she's wearing the hoodie that we got from the back of the car. I want to give her the pencil, but I can't. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Ah, uh, water. Mm. I better get back to it. <laughs> That's all he had to say? All right. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Oh. <laughs> In the back of a train? Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. A man of few words? I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. All right. You caught us on a bad day. Mm, 
You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. It is. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Okay. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. <laughs> and find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants duck, to talk. Duck, duck, goose. It's talked through. Get on, cat. We aren't yeah, sure. I don't want to hear if any he's infected or not. We get where we're going. But this is the first time a child's been bitten. Or bit. So. Yeah. I guess we're moving. So we're basically just giving Duck a chance. Even though there's a big risk, he'll turn. He had a bite mark on, like, on his side, like right there. He's looking thin. He's got a line right here. Here comes the choo-choo train. Be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. Ah. Uh. There were more of us. Dad, get him. <laughs> yeah, the Mario power up. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, I oh, need no. Right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'll get this train stopped right quick. I'm stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Whew. Stop the train. Ah. Katja needs you, Kitty. Duck will be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. 
Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect, not that fucking sham you're running back there! Please, come on. Calm down and- How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? <laughs> Getting beat up, I guess. By talking to your friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doc. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. Oh, come on, man. Uh... You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Uh. Stop the train, man. I talked to Kenny into stopping the train. Okay. Yeah, he's coughing up blood. Okay, chapter five, episode three, another achievement. Handle it. Oh. This game is really, really dark. Again, it's... I yeah, it's... bury the hatchet. Just calm down and make friends, don't argue. Things are tough. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. <laughs> Everyone's crossing their arms. Take as long as you need, we shouldn't waste time. What do you need? What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It gets better? It's better dead. how? Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? Do you mean worse by saying can't better? can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. Darker, okay. One. You let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. They're going to have to kill their son. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee... You'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Oh. Ooh. What's happening? Duck is dying. Duck is dying. I know. 
what are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Clementine will remember my honesty. Things are... What the? No! Finn, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. More people? Oh. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! What? Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> oh my God! I... I... <sighs> she couldn't take it. Yeah. What's going on? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Ah. Come on, man. Did he just die? He's not breathing anymore. Ugh. Perma, perma sleep. Oh. Two more deaths. And Carly. And we left Lily behind. We lost four people. Double tap to make sure. Oh. You want to talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. The rule everyone needs to learn, you double tap. You don't just shoot. One time. One shot. The fuck he did? Swear. Sorry. I'm going to talk some sense into it. Don't be mad. Corey taught me. Really. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Uh... I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. Come on, man. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? 
I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? <laughs> mm. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the fuckiest yeah, idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. <laughs> She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Actually, some good I advice. I'll tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. <sighs> Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. <clears throat> what about moving into the mountains? Well, you need food, water, and shelter. <clears throat> Zombies can't take extreme weather, so mountains could help people out. Yeah. Don't know about the food. That's right. You have any family? Out there. Pros and cons everywhere. Somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past... Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. You need like a bath, a mister. You know. Yeah. Got any? No. <laughs> Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. All righty then. <clears throat> you can always eat earthworms, <laughs> like the Lion King. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. He lost his wife and son. At the same time. <laughs> Ugh. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. And if I get by you for a second, Kitty. Can you just leave me alone? Okay. But I want to talk some more. Hey. Yeah. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah. It's full of maps and documents. So I gotta wait for him to move. I guess. <clears throat> hey, Ben. Ah, uh, hey. Charlie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. 
Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. His name is Chuck, right? <clears throat> Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See ya. <clears throat> yeah. A big ship, though? <laughs> Fish for food, yeah. That would be good. Ooh, bottle? Whiskey? Oh. I can bring that to Chuck. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. Yoink. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. So we're gonna cut Clem's hair. They look clean enough. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Yeah, the blood stain from from Duck. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some uh he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. The crappiest. Three months ago, I don't remember. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. <clears throat> you need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? <clears throat> when you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Right. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Uh. <clears throat> a bit to the right. Okay, a little higher. Shit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> More to the left. Aim lower. There we go. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Feel bad for the kids since your childhood is technically ruined due to an apocalypse. Yeah. You don't always need to aim for the head. Chest sometimes better. Okay. Steady now. Almost got it. Aim a little higher. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> Chest works on people but not on walkers. And if you shoot a guy in the chest, he's just gonna come back. So, in this case... Oh, she I got another it. one. Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, 
And the gun yeah. didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Good job, Clem. Ugh. I taught Clementine to protect herself. Scissor time! Snippy snap. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. No. Because it does. Kind of. <laughs> Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. She understands, though. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. On the train like this. <laughs> Oops. That's your ear. Sorry. Do you know how to do this? <laughs> nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. Come on. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now Clementine to protect will remember yourself. That. And to protect me. It doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. <laughs> you <look> dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. I thought it would be much shorter. Clementine's hair is a lot safer now. Good job. Should we get back to, uh, Maybe get back to Mr. Kinman. Okay. I couldn't give him the booze. I'll, uh, talk to you later, Kenny. You want a drink, bud? I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Thank you. Want a nip? Nah, I'm fine. Suit yourself. <laughs> I want to stay focused. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. It's important. Will do. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. <sighs> okay, what now? <clears throat> Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Okay, now I can get the map. Thanks. Let's go back to Clementine. Thanks. That was quick. <laughs> Good thing I grabbed it. All right. 
It was me. Huh? I knew it! I was the one giving the bandits supplies. I freaking knew it. What? I knew it. It's my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend, that he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No, just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Conscience? Else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Oh boy. So he's the reason. He's the reason the bandits showed up at our place. I think he might might have done it to keep us safe though, because he didn't didn't want the bandits to attack us. And once I found the bag with the medical supplies, they uh, got angry because there were no no stuff in the thing in the wall, you know. Hey, Clint. Hi. But he could have told us. Talk about Savannah. Back at the RV. And what we're gonna do when we get there. Then Carly would have. Don't know what to expect. Still be, be alive. It could she be bad or totally under control. She could have made it. The thing is. You and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We should go our own way. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Ah. Uh. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! Nice. Think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. How many episodes Glad does this game play. have? And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! Oh no. That was loud. Unexpected delay. Another achievement. Chapter 6, Episode 3. Why do we stop? Oh. Good golly. Fuck, 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 fuck! All right. 
Maybe we could walk? What he said. That's fucking <laughs> stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. Six episodes in this game? Holy shit. Shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. <laughs> we know. Let's give these guys a break. You just got daisied. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. <laughs> it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Okay. We'll be down here. Anything else? Nope. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. <laughs> Group of guys. 50 50 chance. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when. Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. <sighs> hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just. It's okay. Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Oh come on. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! <laughs> See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. <laughs> no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? Oh, come on. Didn't make it come on. Far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Huh? What's this? Generator. Ooh. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. I'm gonna check it anyway. Stop signs and cones. Tape. That's about the only useful thing in here. I don't think the stop signs will stop the, the walkers. <laughs> Generator. It's empty. Okay, no fuel. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. What else? Huh, that's weird. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? 
Okay then. Can't talk to Clementine. <clears throat> Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? <laughs> like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Mm, Y'all want some candy? The plan is to <laughs> cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. That's probably going to be me. I'm not going to go up again. More big shit to move. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Just gonna check. Ah. Uh, How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Some. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Learning the ropes? <laughs> can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Talk to you later. Teaching them anything? Trying to. All right. Cat's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Maybe they'll find a. Um... He's the one playing. Okay, nice. Nice, Chuck. A zombie cat. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. All this power, and we're still stuck. Ben. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. No shit. Walkers, man. You know, sometimes you might see me take care of one because I have to. Don't start thinking they don't horrify me. I'm glad somebody else feels that way. I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. Yeah. Can't go there? What? Oh, it's through there. Oh. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not Three seasons, five episodes a season. Very thorough. That's what I like to hear. So, two more episodes in this first game are the uh, second and third game like uh, like the same story, this story, but it continues? Or is it like separate games? Or do we keep playing as uh, Lee? If he makes it. Yeah, okay. Same story. Hey there. 
That's a pretty useful radio Sweet. for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. We'll see how it feels once we finish this. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez. San Fran. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. All right. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Omid's interested Nothing. in Southern history. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Oh, Krista didn't appreciate you prying into her business? Sorry. Sorry, man. I'm just trying to show interest in other people. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come okay, on. Okay, I, I couldn't... Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. I actually don't want her to come. I think I've never said that, ever. <laughs> I didn't want Clementine to join. I think it might be dangerous. You never know. Everton and Schultz. Daubney Fine Silver. Can I open these? Nope. Probably, probably, probably not. Maccabee Imports. Taft. Oh, right. What does it say? Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Survivors inside? Oh, paint. That oh. paint has been dry for months. Okay, it's old. Ray brand auto parts. Macon. 1931. Oh, stairs. Uh, wait. Hmm. No entry. Please, Clementine, be you careful. Wait for me before trying to open doors. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Uh, did I bring a tool? <laughs> oh, I can help her get in there. A forklift? Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Oh, well. I could give her a boost. Mm, won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? I can't see in there. Uh, like, if I had Clementine, and, and me personally, if I was here, I would jump up there and get in by myself. I would not put her through the window, but I guess we have to. We'll have to find a way in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Yeah, look first. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. 
For oh, real? It was just a latch. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Okay. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Thanks. Huh? God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Uh... Paint? Or... Oh, we still have the tool. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. Oh, come on. It's too dark in there. Yeah. We should prop the door open with something. I'll try and use my tool. It's way too dark. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Hang on. Tool. That's better, right? That works. But now I have nothing in my hands. Paint, yeah. Let's see if we can bring one of those cans. Hello. <laughs> Can I take them? No? Okay. Good idea, though. I thought the same thing. Thanks. I do have the gun, though. So I still feel a little bit safe. Let's get back in. Yeah. Okay. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Hmm. Oh. Okay. We're locked up good. Okay, Clementine. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Okay. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. I really hope there's Don't not a walker in there. Come on, scoot. What? No. Behind you! Oh, shit! Fuck! Uh, no! Oh. Oh, please, Clementine. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Oh, shit. Shit, no. Uh, so dumb. Ow. Ew. <laughs> oh. Din förbannade noob. Vinyl och dricka öl. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Thank you for that. Have the keys, Clint. Yeah. I keep forgetting I can move with the left stick. So I'm gonna back up, back away to the door. Get it. Please. Come on. She's scared. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine.
Oh no. No, 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 no. Jeez, now! Ah. Fuck, uh, still uh, Oh, come on. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? I can feel anxiety building up. <sighs> it was stupid. We handled it. Uh, mm, uh. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh. Pawn snooze. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. Me too. For her sake. <laughs> Sarah. Chris, I won't forget that. Did I say something wrong? Hey, Clem. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Uh, blowtorch. They didn't have much business back then. Okay. Low torch looks nice. I'm gonna take it. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. Learn not to be afraid. Have to learn everything is dangerous. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? And tail. And knee. Okay. And these news. Everything is dangerous. Clementine will remember that. Okay, come on. Ett eller två. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Two Strawberry. Pringles. <laughs> it's starting to smell now. Wrong button. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna quit soon. But the Pringles can is not full yet. <laughs> okay. Blowtorch. Hey, buddy. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Clickety click. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, hey. I don't want my eyebrows burned off. I found the tape. Oh, leak with something. Found the tape. Good job, everybody. This hose. Just has to hold for a few seconds. Okay. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Shit. Fire that thing up. 
Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. Flammable. Still far off the edge. <sighs> Well, what now? Oh, give give it to him. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> oh, look behind you, Chapter Seven of Episode Three. Are those walkers? Holy shit. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Go! Oh shit! Shit! What the hell uh, do we do now? Uh, here. We gotta jump. What? No way! Here's some action. All right. Guys! Come on! Jump! No! Jump! Damn it! Still no! Fine! What? Ugh. Ow. Yeah. Ah. Oh, come on! Shit! Run! Uh. Uh. Okay. Come on. No, her, not me. Brith yeah, because she can run. Fuck! Come on! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Thank God. He was injured. I think he would have fallen over or something. And he would have died. He, he, he would have died. Like 100%. <laughs> okay, he would have died. Okay. Cursor. Oh. He would die to <laughs> Yeah, the game trolled me. Oh boy. That was a lot of them. Oh crap. No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. I think I could have pushed the We're fine, the blowtorch. We're fine. I'm glad I didn't because I think the train would be in flames. If I did that. This episode was long. Really long. We made it out of there. Kenny and Duck and Cat. He should have it. I'm gonna ask Clementine. Next stop, the Atlantic. I'd like to give that to him. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. <laughs> what? It works? What the? 
I thought it broke. For you to get this Savannah Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. Yeah. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Another achievement. Lend me your ears. Completed episode three, long road ahead. Okay. We're almost at the river. We did it. Like boat, you want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here. We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's read these. Sweet Merciful Death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 59% of players did not shoot her. Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? 42% left her. Did you fight Kenny? 44% of players talked him down. Heavy Burden. Did you shoot Duck? 79% of players shot him. A Helping Hand. Did you help Omid? Or Omid? 55% of players helped him. Whew, wow. That was a... That was a wild episode. <laughs>